Welcome back to our walkthrough series on Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This chapter is chapter 3, uh, Surprise and Find. We're playing this on Crushing Difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty that we need to complete the game on in order to unlock the Platinum Trophy. I'll also be showing you where to pick up all 61 treasures. So apologies for the late video, my capture card decided it didn't want to work properly uh, the first time round and it basically wanted to corrupt half of the footage. So I've had to record this chapter again um, and when it comes to picking up the treasures you won't see them shine on the ground as you normally would uh, because once you've picked them up once you can't pick them up again if that makes sense on the same save file so you'd have to make a whole new save file which is what we don't want to do. But regardless I'll still show you where they should be and we'll go through uh, the options, I'll show you what they are and what number treasure it should be. But at least it's not too much of a headache uh, to do this because there's only two treasures on chapter 3 and they're at the beginning of the game, not too hard to find. So at the end of this chapter we should have a total of 8 out of 61 treasures. So all we need to do is scale the face of this cliff right to the very top and the overall aim is to get on the boat we've just seen. Now the treasure would normally be up there, treasure number 7. If we go right instead of left, uh, shimmy along this edge and onto this ledge up here. And this is where treasure number 7 would normally be. So I'll show you that now. And if we go into bonuses and into treasures, number 7 would be the gold Tyrone pendant. Again, another nice looking treasure there. Some nice little details. And this time if we shimmy back across and we'll go left and we basically just need to jump across this gap hey, watch up there. and up onto the ledge and then we're back where we should be. Gap to jump over. Press circles to drop to the lower ledge. Be careful because I went a bit crazy the first time I recorded this. Um, I did just end up dropping off, <laughs> off the end of the cliff. So we'll make our way across. Again, drop down. And once we get to the part where we can just drop onto the boat, that's where treasure number 8 will be. It's literally on the end of the boat. So if we leg it straight across. And if you go right to the very end, and on the nose of the ship here, it'll be um, it'll be around here somewhere. And this will be treasure number eight, which I'll show you again. Bonuses, treasures, and that would be the golden turquoise inca ring. And that would be all the treasures for chapter three. So the rest of this part pretty linear, we have to go inside the ship, do some bits and bobs, I think it's a submarine is it, I don't think it's a, it's a ship. Drop into the hole, I'm going to go into cover, and after this part uh, comes the fun part, because there are, okay. is some uh, is some I mean, combat to deal with at the end of this chapter, which surprisingly guys. is uh, pretty everywhere. straightforward. But I'm sure the, uh, as we progress through the game, the combat will get harder. Get this, my decomposing friend. I 
think the trail just got warm again. How so? Well, I just met a guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. I'm in the captain's quarters. Get this, he's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Take his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. You're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've gotta get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan? Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Uh, easy. Put your hands up. Hi, right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <clears throat> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with you, Nate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Kriegsmarine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So? We square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? 
That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with that. Sully! Sully! You son of a bitch! And here we go, the fun begins. Now the first time I recorded this, I died here about 10 times. Um, oh, I, forgot. I completely forgot about this guy. Just made it there. Sly little brutal combo. Tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh god, I'm I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. Oh, thanks. All right, come on. It's time to take on an army. Uh this is a good farming spot. Um stealth kills. Over there! Oh my god. Oh. Alright, he's down. Yeah, what I was going to say was, uh, it's a good spot for farming stealth kills. Wanna die, wanna die, wanna die. Behind here. Another uh, tip that I found useful as well, was rather than stay in cover um, by pressing the circle button, if you just hover behind walls, it's harder for the enemies to actually hit Drake, so you can shoot them uh, through your reticle, is it a reticle or whatever they call it, that little circle. Pick up some ammo here because ammo does become very, very scarce. If it actually lets me pick up some ammunition, then I will do. Also remember to switch shoulders where you're aiming from. Uh, obviously if you're aiming round the corner to the left, switch to your left. On the right, switch to your right. I think You're I'm shooting right at you too, you know. The corner, yeah. Don't let there he is. Oh. Bang, bang. We're pros at this already. There we go. Ourselves an AK, nice. Here they come. Another thing um, on crushing shit. Another thing on crushing compared to other difficulties, the enemies will rush you, so um, they will advance on where you are, and they will try and flank you from both ends, which is can be annoying. The patterns seem to be the same every time you play, so even if you die, then they'll do exactly the same thing, uh, which is good in one way because you get to know the enemy's behaviour, and it makes it. A little bit easier. Okay. Stay close. Let's move on.
What the hell is this place, anyway? Long story. Tell you later. So I remember the first time I played this, quite a tricky part, but if you just keep going up and down the stairs, you'll sort of lure the enemies towards you. And just keep blasting them with the AK. That nearly ended there, uh, tragically. And it's about two or three bullets, I think, of rushing before uh, you die. The trick is to just take your time, and there's no rush. Just absorbing all, absorbing all those uh, bullets. <laughs> Chilling with his feet up. Never a dull moment, huh? Just keep your head down. These guys aren't messing around. Them as well. It's two, I think one to the right, one to the left. So I'll just stay behind and cover. Now I do find that using the pistol is a lot more effective than using uh, like AKs. Definitely underrated. Also look out for uh, any explosive barrels because they'll come in uh, really handy. Lock grenade. Gonna... Oh. Thought we were gonna get chewed by a grenade then. Come on, back this way. Throw another grenade. Not one. It's right by us. Wait. <laughs> Didn't get away in time. I tried to dive out of the way, but ended up diving into cover. Uh, which if you remember, if you watched episode one, I did say you've got to be careful. Because uh, that can literally be the death drink, which is uh, quite evident there. And we got shot and absolutely mullered again. So this will be happening a lot. I'll try and. Try and leave a few deaths in there. Um, obviously, if I'm dying like 10, 20, 30, 40 times, which on some chapters I'm sure I will, uh, there will be some editing involved because I don't really want to sit through like a two hour video. <laughs> so, just going over the same, same battle sequence. 
and this is where these tricks come up. Quite like good, as you can see. We can kill the enemy, but the enemy can't hit us because we're behind cover. But if Drake was in cover, he'd be exposed every time he came out to, uh, to aim. Okay for now. Stay with me. Now remember this part was tricky on the um, on my first go. On the corrupted go, we'll call it. Um, I ended up running outside and basically luring the enemies back in because it's an open space and there's three or four enemies knocking round. Um, and they're in like weird places, Over so there. Gonna make a sprint for it. Died then. No, we did die then. Nice. <laughs> Go again. This time, to try and remember that one is in front of us and the rest to the right. Oh, Elena, can't you just go out and take one for the team? There. Elena do the work. Why not? Come on, Elena, out me way. Look at this killed woman. Right, this is looking better. Someone else shooting out here. This guy doesn't know we're coming. And um, we get 20 headshots. And a trophy. Nice. Try and aim for the head if you can. It does kill the enemies a lot quicker. Yeah, this way. So thank you all for watching chapter 3 of our Uncharted Drake's Fortune Let's Platinum. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, a comment, share it. It would mean a lot to me and it really does help the channel out. If you're new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification button to be notified whenever a brand new video is uploaded. I will be uploading these every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5pm UK time. So that's it from me, I'll see you all in chapter 4. Well, do seem to attract the scum of the earth. Uh, yeah, no offense. None taken. Do you have a good memory? Yeah, why? UK 2642. You got that? Yeah, what is it? It's Krieg's Marine Coordinates. I think I know where the Spanish took El Dorado. El Dorado? The problem is, some of the bastards killed Sully. Damn it! If the Spanish found the treasure, they had to move it there, to that island. And Drake followed them. Well, what are we waiting for? I'll get the story, and you get whatever it is you're after. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, this isn't going to be a vacation, you know. I can take care of myself. Besides, you owe me one. I suppose I do. trail of the lost treasure of El Dorado and it's brought us here to this tiny island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Let's get a closer look. I hope we're the first ones here. Will we discover the ruins of a forgotten colony and a fortune in Spanish gold? Or does the island have darker secrets in store for us? That should keep him from changing the channel. What the hell was that? An anti-aircraft fire? This is so not cool! Oh crap! We're on fire! Enough with the damn camera! We gotta bail out! Bail out? Does this thing even have parachutes? Now would be a good time to look! Uh, I hope these things still work! We'll find out in a second. Have you ever done this before? Of course! You just jump, count to five, and pull the cord! Now go! Are you coming? Kinda busy right now. 
Oh, 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 shit. Whew. 